Good evening. In this video, I'm gonna do a brief demonstration of uh, Project Minesweeper in action. First, just let me run it. Okay, so first thing is that we need to give the AI a little bit of previous knowledge. So, for example, we can, okay, not that one, but we can pop some corners or something and then we can start guessing with the AI move button and each time it always gives preference to cells that are close and of course if they're safe if they're not safe then it does a random move maybe I'm printing a lot of things and it's slowing it down a little bit but you can see it definitely works and by the end it should um, we should be only left with the with the mines so like for example here so as it was requested in this um, document so to say or in the requirement sheet, this principle was the most difficult to implement and it was all implemented within this function. Um, so first, just based on the cell that was clicked, we create a new sentence, including all the information that can be gathered from that. So all the surrounding uh, blocks or cells and the count, the mine count, then we start making some inferences ba based on the knowledge that we have and then we come to this part which um, checks or compares two sets of data and if one of them is a subset from the other one then this principle is applied Sorry. this principle is applied in which one is subtract sub subtracted from the other one and then we're left with two with a new set and uh, an equivalent count and and then we update all the all the information also based on the cells that we know are safe or mines and here at the end then these functions help to per the AI to perform a move which it knows it's safe or a random one in case it cannot fi find uh, one by this mean so yeah